Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to X Plane 12, and uh, today we're here in Jersey Airport, EG uh, JJ, and we're going to be taking a short flight up to Newcastle. Uh, we're in the AD Simulation CRJ uh, 900, and it's just been put into beta for X Plane 12. So this is my first flight of it. We're going to give it a bit of a go, see how she flies, see how she runs, and the, as you can see here, Simply Connect have just gained a new livery something that we're currently working on across all the fleet so let me know what you guys think about the livery as well it's to match the rest of the companies the buses and the trucks uh, so yeah we are here it's a busy vatsim down here this evening uh if we just go no nope, when let me uh, scroll up there we go yeah quite a few planes here hello to everyone that is here uh who is here actually imran good evening 737 good evening you're going to be a bit late. No worries, mate. Driving Sim Real One. Hello, Andy. Good evening. How are you streaming? Didn't come on Discord. You got that Trent Valley scenario already. Neddy, Neddy. Uh, Imran has just uh, renewed his membership. Big thank you to Imran. Well done, well done. Uh, so, yeah, hello to the people that are here. So, yeah, CRJ uh, 900. Not 100% experience with the CRJs. Uh, we've flown them a few times here on the channel, mainly on the. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we're going to give this one a go today, and here we are, we're inside, like I said, it's just been ported across, it looks alright, looks nice, it still looks like it looked in uh, X-Plane 11, which is always good. Scott Watson, oh yeah, for you doing a GA flight, not tonight, GA's not tonight, the next flight after this will be a GA, I promise, sorry. Are you going to fly with us, are you? Okay, let's just put that to there for the minute. I do want to go into the settings, uh, change you to kilograms, because pounds is definitely not my thing. There you go, we just empty the fuel out of the aircraft. So yeah, look, it's looking quite nice. This is the default airport for Jersey. It's not too bad, I don't think. It looks alright. So X-Plane 12 also had an update this week. Um, so yeah, that's going to be... Uh, see what this is all about. Microsoft Flight Simulator? Okay, yeah, we'll do Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to be 15 minutes late, is there any point? It's up to you, mate. I'm going to be here, as usual, talking rubbish, uh, getting going, so you probably will join up pretty quickly, I think. And it's got quite a few airplanes here, so it could be a bit of traffic getting out. Okie dokie, guys. So, look, let's go up above. Let's start doing things. Um, I wrote a small checklist for myself that I had from before. I just kind of adapted it. Uh, okay, so we're going to put the battery to the on position. We're also going to throw on the DC service. Okay, and the AC is in use. I thought that would light up a little bit more. Okay, there's some lights here. Let's turn these lights on for the overhead panel. Okay, so at the moment, aircon can go to the uh, off position. Uh, the reset can go to the on position. We can put the uh, no smoking and seat belts to the on position. They already start on the on position, and we can arm the emergency lighting. As well as that, we're going to throw on our nav. Our B can go to the on logo, and wings inspection can go to the on position there as well. And that's kind of it for up here. We're going to let the aircraft turn on. I'm just going to make sure we got all our lighting sorted out. We're down here. Put a, put a bit of light on. It is very dark in here. I'm finding out with a lot of planes of X-Plane uh, 12, they're all quite dark. It must be all the new shaders and stuff. Yeah, we'll find a bit of... There we go. Not too bad, apart from we're sitting quite low. This is quite high. Uh, GTA, Stepford, hello. Hope we don't crash. I always hope that on every flight. Imran, how come it says I renewed my membership and I haven't? Because it automatically renews unless you cancelled it. So, this time, last time you you paid or whatever, it's just renewed. The month has run out, so that's all. Okie dokie. Um, one more thing up here then. Uh, we go back up here, sorry. We got the cargo can go to air cabin we can put to kind of a medium, cockpit we can put to a medium. Uh, we are going to turn on 
We can test the windshield. We are going to put it on low. Probes can stay off for now, that's fine. Hydraulics can all go to automatic. The ELT is already on. Uh, these are all my landing lights. So yeah, everything is good here for the moment. Nice. Okay, let's fuel our aircraft today. So total fuel weight today should be 4650. There we go. We're only just about filling up the, the wings. Passengers today, we are sitting with uh, 72. Uh, why, why are you not liking that? Okay. If I remember rightly, that's it. We pop it out to do this one. Interesting. Alrighty, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Okay, so. get passengers on <laughs> we will okay external power is already on uh, door handling we'll open up all our doors for loading and we're still getting fueled this passenger one I, I don't know if this is a bug or what it might be a bug we'll work it out Rembo, hello, sorry mate, I uh, got fear for my tux for my mate's wedding. Oh, nice, like a good old wedding. I might get LMD, will 40 quid be enough for a decent experience? Uh, yeah, but I would just wait a couple of weeks because there'll be a sale for Halloween uh, on Steam and you'll pick up a lot of DLCs for like half the price. Um, but to get the base game, you can buy it for like 9 euros off um, Instant Gaming for the OMSI itself. And most of the maps are freeway, you just need a, one or two bus packs. You only need probably 30 quid. And you can get it to have it a pretty decent way. So, yeah, I wouldn't go too crazy. Okay, let's have a look at the outside with the doors all open and stuff. It looks quite nice. The passenger information I'm a little bit worried about. And there's no stairs on the other side. Uh, so that is a little bit of a worry. Okay, let's keep going down then. Uh, we've done the lighting, emergency lighting's okay. We've done our flight bag. So let's look at the FMC. We're going to pop it out. I think it is just the default FMC, if I'm correct. It's got some different lighting than it normally does, but okay, we're gonna go. E G J J is our origin. Uh, if we go to our route menu, company routes. Why is it not here? Oh, here it is. Uh, e J J to E G N T. Here we go. It's on this side. Perfect. Uh, we'll just do that. Flight number today, of course, is SIT7742. And uh, yeah, we'll flick that in, execute that for a minute. Gonna pop you out. We're gonna go back up above. And uh, we probably should throw on that APU, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's um, start the APU. We should see the doors open down here somewhere. There we go. DTS, you swore you saw steps. There is steps on the outside, this side, but there's no steps on this side. So the APU door has it opened up the back here. There you go, the door is open. You can hear the APU. What do you guys think of the new repaints? What do you think? The lights are very dim in here. Very, very dim. Okay, we can probably turn it on. Oh crap, did I just turn it off? Ok, 
Okay, the door is open. It's really hard because I can't see the lights. Okay, reset our cautions for a minute. What the hell did I do? Okay, so the APU is on. Am I being stupid here? It's the other way around, whoops. It really, really looks nice, make it look like a casco in a way. Nice. Little old Freddy's just left me. Uh, okay, flight plan. Okay, that didn't go anywhere. That's fine. So when the APU is ready, we should be able to start it from here. There we go. APU is now kicking back in. I'd already had it clicked. All right, let's see if I can get some more light. It is still very, very dark. I feel like there should be another light switch somewhere, but I just don't see it. Okay, radio panels, let's just go down to COM1, 121, decimal 9. Are they still online? They are. Let's switch over to the ground. Everything should be okay here. Okay, we're going to arm the uh, thrust reversers. And there we go, auto for the spoilers. So make sure that's just on there. Your dampeners. Oh, if I remember rightly, you only press it once on this aircraft. Wow, it's so hard not having the lights like we normally do. All right, let's go back to our information. Uh, see if we can change his passengers yet. Must be a known bug. I literally uh, I can't see anything here that can help me. Okay, let's shut some of these doors. It's a shame because this is the bit I need. I, I can't. I, 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 if I could change it from here, I'd be all right. Just turn these sounds down a little bit. My God, some of these things are very sensitive. It's like it wants me to grab something here, but it's just not doing it. Normally you can drag or you can just type it in like you did with the fuel. No idea. <laughs> okay, so one problem is it's going to give me the wrong speeds here now. So it reckons we're going to V2 at 130. Okay, let's just load our takeoff speeds. Are they loaded in? They have. Uh, that's good. 
I suppose. Anti skid can go to the arms. Uh, I think everything else is okay for the minute here, isn't it? Okay, my Q and H, we just need to set. Now, I believe we can get rid of these by clicking somewhere up here, isn't it? It's one of the nuts. There we go. So, Q and H today, if we go to our borough, uh, we should be... Uh, what did they give us? 1018. So let's just change our borrow now down to 1018. That's pretty happy. FMS 1 is our current position on this. I haven't actually filled out our FMC properly yet. Probably something that we should do. Okay, so we're going to depart here. Let's find out what's going on. One to one nine hundred. One to one nine hundred. Good evening, Jersey Tower. Oh, sorry, Jersey Ground. Simply seven seven four two. Request IFR clearance to Newcastle on the South Apron in the CRJ nine hundred. Information November. Oh, they didn't hear me. One to one decimal one. It's going well, guys. Okay, I'm just moving our speed bug up to about 230. Good evening, uh, Jersey Ground, Simply 7742 radio check. doing as you're told. Is he offline? No, he's definitely online. Why are you not working? What have I missed?
Okay, let's close our main door. Take off our external power. I think we're burning fuel like crazy. Just let me check my settings. Uh... One second. Yeah, all the audio stuff is fine. Um, I want to make sure my flight, flight plan is filed. Okay, that says yes. Uh, 737, no worries. Uh, like I said, I'm, for some reason, clearly I've got a radio thing knob I'm missing here, aren't I? VHF 1, we're on 1. There we go. We did it. You have to hold it down. Okay, this plane is quite loud. Good evening, Jersey Ground, simply 7742, request IFR clearance to Newcastle, information uh, November of the South Apron in the CRJ 900. Simply 7742, Jersey Ground, good evening, you cleared to Newcastle by the Phoenix 5 Alpha departure, it's called 1226. Uh, cleared to Newcastle via the Benzi 5 Alpha departure. Uh, Squawk 1226, simply 7742. Favourite call sign for me, I've got it down the seat here, is that right? Uh, simply, yeah. So, uh, 7742 will be back in right. Okay, now I need to change this bad boy. Uh, he wanted... There's a ground speed at 983, ready for taxi, runway 26. We were at 983, manufacturer taxi and holder alpha 2. Okay, it's one of these awkward ones. Okay, so one, two, two, six. Okay, nice. And uh, the TCAS goes on down here, which we've already learned. TARA and we're now identified as on. Okay, so he did give us what I was expecting. So we got the Benny 5 Alpha via runway 26. No transition. We'll put that into our flight plan. Let's just have a little nose at the flight plan. Let's just go down to our nav source. Okay, FMS1. Let's 
just want to check this to my sim brief now very quickly. Okay, rim toe should be my last spot here. Just around November 250 Papa Red Taxi. November 250 Papa Red Thanks Taxi, Holy Point Alpha 1, runway 26. Perfect. Oh, no discons, so I'm pretty happy with how all that is. We can cancel you out now. Uh, we can put you now back to where you need to be. There we go. I'm going to bring in our source just a little bit. QNH, all done. Normal, normal, normal. Everything else is looking good. Let's just turn on every bloody light we have. Let's get our joystick back, because we are burning fuel massively. Um, okay, so let's have a look at that departure very quickly, just uh, what, what we're flying up to. Uh, straight out then, the Benix 1.5 Alpha to perch. 5,000 feet is what we're cleared to. So in our altitude here, I'm going to change you to 5,000 feet. which we currently have. I can click on the altitude because I don't want altitude to go any higher than what it's already going to be. Flight director is already on and it's good. Saying that, this doesn't look 100% uh, great. Uh, where's next page? Okay, it's just what it looks like in this flight plan, and obviously, it's just a direct speed with 983. Follow the 1% to Alpha 1. Roger, we'll follow to Alpha 1, speed with 983. Number 25 Sierra Papa, contact Jersey Control now, 125 decimal 2, bye bye. We're Jersey Control, 125 decimal 2, have a nice evening, see you in the Sierra Papa. See ya, break. Speedbird 983, same for you now, sir. Contact just control 125. Okay, guys, I'm happy here. Let's go up above. We can throw it on the air conditioning again here now. Just want to make sure the last few bits are done. Uh, say again, Speedbird 983. Fuel pumps can go on. Contact Jersey control on 125. Decimal 2. Bye bye. Roger, 125. Decimal 2. Uh, Speedbird 983. Many thanks. Make sure our doors are closed. They are. We get better pushback ready. So better pushback finally has come out for this. Oh, hang on. That's, uh... See where 27 Juliet Romeo turn right heading 330 degrees. Kevin Duplice, hello, how are you? Well, we'll see what we can get. What gate are you? It's just South Apron. There's no real gates. Did he respond? Or can I go? Super 983, thank you. Uh, via Alpha 1, line up from way 26. 25, 200. Simply 7742 ready for push and start. Two to 7742, stand 7, push and start approved, QNH1018. Push and start approved, QNH1018, uh, simply 7742. Uh, PR1, hello, how are you? How are things? How is everybody? Sorry, i have uh, just getting ourselves sorted out here now. We can pre plan the push back. I think here would be good. Round to cockpit. Plan acknowledge. Call me through the menu when you're ready. So I don't think I can go that way. Round to cockpit. Toe is driving up. 
Okay, Speedbird's just taking off, look. We'll watch him take off. We're waiting for our tug. Is it true that X-Men 12 has, like, working ground service? Please tell me and show me. Um, you can see them working around here. It does have jetways working, but not the other bits. You'd have to get an add-on. There are two add-ons available uh, for it. But they actually show more ground stuff. If you go... I, I can't do it now because we're too far in. Um, but you've got the ground handling here. You can request ground services and stuff. Okay, what's going on here for us then? Uh, APU's on, L boost on, okay. APU, external All doors, doors and air on. Are closed. Ready to connect, set parking brakes. Screens on, that's done, ignition on, our start. Okay, so we're pretty good to go here. I am going to now turn my probes on. We're going to uh, let off our parking brake. Yeah, no worries, mate, no worries, you'll be fine. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Uh, PR1 just subscribed, thank you, mate, much appreciated. Okay, we're on the move here. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Okay, so what we want to do then is turn on the ignition, and we're going to go for a right start, hopefully. We see here now, the M2 is coming up. We're going to flick this bad boy. Fox Top Golf Tango Papa India, welcome back to Jersey. Taxi to the Let's start the left engine. And, uh, join us no, it's not too big. Thank they fly into here all the time. Okay, so that's my flat button. That must be my trim button. Okay. It's a 7714, just correct. Uh, simply 7742. Sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. No worries. Uh, I'm closing out, so contact Jersey Control 125 decimal 2 for your taxi. Uh, no problem. Contact 125 decimal 2. Uh, thank you and good night. Operation complete. Uh, Set parking brake. And all stations, all stations. Jersey Grant is disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay, we're on one two five decimal two hundred. He's disconnecting now. We've already got our flaps set. Oh, we're very naughty. We haven't closed our cockpit door. Right, one of you are going to be my brakes. Okay, whatever button I just pressed was my reverse thrust. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even realize the plane was going forward.
CETA 2, aggression. CETA 7742, Jazzy, control you with me. Uh, 7742, yeah, sorry, with you. Tip are you uh, taxiing or do you need taxi? Uh, can I get a taxi, please? I was just about to come to you. I didn't realise my uh, plane was moving. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. It's uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you can taxi Alpha One for two six QNH one zero one eight. Uh, taxi Alpha One for two six uh, QNH one zero one eight simply seven seven four two. Speedbird seven uh, two seven two seven two eight Romeo. Welcome to Jersey. Taxi hold short Bravo two. Uh, got an aircraft on three, can give you one, eleven, or ten. Roger. Easy, two to Alpha, no further ATC, monitoring, come one, two, two, desk, some late, bye-bye. One, two, two, desk, some late, next to the ATC, but you're late, just bye-bye. Pass -bye. anything out of this uh, aircraft, can we? Okay, we'll taxi on the outside because I can't see shit all. Okay, there's the other Sydney Connect areas. You know what, I've forgotten. Any of my taxi lights would have been good, wouldn't it? Speedbird 27 Juliet Romeo, taxi someone. I thought the handbrake was on because he's disconnected. I, I was very... Two, five, zero, five, further climb of Unicom 122 decimal 8, bye bye. I was very surprised. Look at the taxi lights on this. What a beast. I need to turn the APU off in a minute. <laughs> okay. Need to make sure that the gen is on. It's already on automatic. Okay, so the gen is on. Means APU can go to the off position. Yeah, the one thing about this aircraft is we sit so low. I don't. I like to be a little bit higher, but the up button's not working. Uh, I have to do it where I have to sit myself up and fiddle around, so we'll have to do that in the air. But yeah, we're a bit bit short here. Can't even read the taxiways. There you go, so much nicer now that the uh, generators are on. Infinity and beyond. Oh, Buzz, good evening. Hello, mate. Sorry, I've got bloody lost into that. I need to explain 12, so does it have live a AI traffic like X-Plane 11? X-Plane 11 didn't have uh, live traffic. The reason why we're on live traffic is because we're on the VATSIM network, but there are plugins available already for X-Plane 12 to have uh, AI. What they have is static aircraft. They don't have an AI system. So you can buy it, you can buy it. There's a plugin at the moment, World Traffic 3. 983, no further ATC, Monash Unicorn 122, that's right, bye bye. Man, I have no idea how this is going to go. He's going to tell me to line up straight away, isn't he? I don't think there's anyone coming in. Doesn't look like it. Right, okay, so... 7742 via Alpha 1, line up uh, via Alpha 1. Surface wind is 200 degrees, 1, 2 knots, runway 26, clear take. Clear take off, assembly 7742. 
Okay, so we can turn off the ignition there. They're all set. I just want to make sure we got all our lights set. Uh, taxi lights can go to the off position at this stage now our strobe can come to the on position we are going to put the shields onto high uh chaps good evening how are you haven't seen you in a while uh you're offline 130 miles early i will check the va uh once uh <laughs> once i get up in the air uh, it's just been a bit of a nightmare for me to be honest okay on to toga Air movement is alive. Okay, 130 VR and rotate. Okay, positive rate, gear up. Not too positive, please. Oh, my trim is well out. About a thousand feet, anyways. This aircraft turns on. Yeah, yeah, seat uh, 7740, report you past altitude. Uh, just clearing 5,000 feet. Yeah, 7740, thank you. Climb flight over 130, direct to Benix. Direct to Benix, uh, up to 11,000 feet, 77742. Okay, what I'm going to do here is engage the autopilot. Jesus Christ. And then I'm going to click uh, nav. And then we're going to go direct to Bennett's. I, I've completely messed this up. Going direct to Benix. Seat to seven seven four two. Further climb of the Unicorn one two two decimal eight. Bye bye. Uh, contact Unicorn 122 Decimal 8, thank you. Good night. Okay, I completely buggered that up. Uh, we're going out to Newcastle. Bump start there. Uh, hope no one asked for a glass of water. Yeah, it's very touchy on the old controls. It's very flinchy. Uh, a little bit could have been me as well. Now, we shouldn't be descending. I should be going up. I think it was the wrong speed. I went past Toga. I went to max power. I should have just gone to Toga only.
Yeah, I'm really not controlling the speeds here at all. Yeah, the trim's just a bit funky, isn't it? Is it windy out here or what? I, <laughs> I messed something up here so bad. Okay, well anyways, we're above 10,000 feet, going a billion miles an hour. <laughs> so let's just turn these off for the moment. Okay, we're in some sort of control now. I think I forgot at the beginning to set my vertical speed. I probably should have took, taken off a vertical speed, not altitude, because uh, I didn't get my cross. But no doubt, we'll fly again in this and we'll get better. Those flaps not gone up. Okay, the flaps are up here, but they're showing in the aircraft that they're down. Yeah, they're definitely showing down. They're definitely up, look. That's down, that's up. Uh, Jack, hello. Commander Fox, uh, construction sim's already on instant gaming, mate. It's already there. Hmm. I made a right old tit of myself on this one, didn't I? But yeah, hello everyone. Hello. I've... I felt like everything was going okay until that point. Now I'm a bit disappointed within myself. Flaps and slats are up.
There must be wicked turbulence or something. My vertical speed here is plus 1.5. Uh, Jack, you love this game. Yeah, it's not going very well. I wonder, is it a bug with the aircraft? I wonder. Problem is, it's making us lose speed as well. Otherwise, putting us up to three six hundred as well. Uh, the Ribton uh, one November coming in at ILS two five. Pretty sure th Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm saying that there must be a bug with the aircraft. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm where we're heading. We're heading up to Newcastle, but um, I'm not sure if we're going to get there. I, I have a feeling that um, we're not in a good place here. You now just shot back up again. My God, I have no idea if we're going to get there.
Uh, Kevin, good evening. Don't really know what I can suggest, but if you are sitting in this plane now, you're going to be absolutely pooing your pants. Oh, this dating site, where does it come from? Not the time! Uh, Imran, you've got special uh, emojis for that. Is there no trim wheel? Oh, I bet you the trim is on this, isn't it? Okay, we seem to be holding at uh, 2,300 now, so that's something. It's what your membership does, it gives you all these alerts. Oh shit, we're going to the sky again. I mean... Why? I don't even think we're in the UK yet. Yeah, I'm not sure that this aircraft is uh, available. Uh, <laughs> not buggy. I'm feeling like we may have to go and do an emergency hand descent and try and land anywhere for this stream. We'll give it a bit longer. Okay, for some reason I'm getting a cabin altitude uh, problem here now.
Okay, I think I know what the problem was now. Pan, 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 that's it. Did you turn off live weather? I did not turn off live weather. Um, because the lights aren't working, and, well, they are working, but you can't tell if you pressed anything, I think I forgot to put the stabilizer trim on, which is the auto trim, and I think that's why it was going crazy. So if all things are considered, I didn't even look at the warnings here. I think we're going to be okay now. I think it was my fault. So it's still a bit bouncy. LNAV and VNAV aren't engaging for you. <laughs> what are you flying? You're on Microsoft Flight Simulator, aren't you? I was just saying I think it was going to work, and now look. It's trying to skyrocket. See, here you go. I'm getting that trim warning again. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I thought it was going to fix the problem. It's not fixing the problem. So hard. Nav is on. Engaged. Flight director's on. We're on FMS 1. Oh my god. Here we go again. As a cab manager, I still hold my uh, recommendation to hold in flight services or passengers will receive a patch and spend at the airport if we land. Uh, yeah, no, no, look, explain. Don't think. Don't think. <sighs> explain only updated to their beta 5, didn't they? So I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's killed this aircraft a bit. That's probably why no one's flown with it. Holy poo in Christ. If that is the UK, finally, it is. We could look for an airport in the area, I suppose. Um, probably the best thing to do, right? I don't want to take off real weather though. I don't know if I can now. Uh, the Alaskan Husky, welcome. Um, my, my plane's bugging out. We're in death, death mode here. I don't know. Alright, we're just going over the Isle of Wight. E.g. There's an airport there, isn't there? Uh, 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 get to Leeds and Bradford. 
I, I'm, we're not even at the Isle of Wight yet, mate. Can we just hop on ETS two far far and call it a day for flying? <laughs> uh, my ETS two is not um, not installed, mate, so I can't. Oh, there's, there's definitely something about this it friggin' likes. You used to have to press both of these, but I think in this aircraft you only press one. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that yet anyways. We could go into Shoreham actually, EGKA. Uh, it's gonna be a, be a funny one, isn't it? There's a way to turn on all the airports and stuff on here. Man, we're gonna fall into big problems. Do you guys like your new badges? Kevin, you notice you got a pink one now. I extended it so there's more badges to earn now. Okay guys, so we, we're bugging out quite a bit. We're okay at the moment, so we're gonna hold fast. We'll keep going with the flight as far as we can go. And then we'll have to make an assessment. Passenger oxygen is now on. Oh good. There you go, there's the other way. Now here you go, here it is. Okay, this will give us a bit more of a choice. So yeah, it's, uh, here we go. It's going off again. So this is why I can't stop. Okay, showroom is... 
EG, what is Shoreham? EGKA. So that's Shoreham there. Okay, let's take off the AP. Let's uh, descend down. Yeah. Like I said, the, the airplane might not quite be ready for this. Um, it could be as simple as that. It did have an update. No, like I said, he said these were ready for the beta. I'm sure he said the 900 as well. Um, Maybe there's been another update. I downloaded this only last night, though, so... GKA. You're going to Bournemouth. Oh, this chat 69 shit. I did think that the takeoff was a bit iffy, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. Bank angle. Bank angle. Oh, crap. So I do apologize guys, I didn't expect this to be broken. Even now, it's trying to put me up into the to the sky. I've got no power on the aircraft. The power is off. E G K A. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a nose down of this. Shoreham traffic, simply 7742, looking for an emergency landing into Bournemouth. Uh, completely sassy, just described. Thank you if you are watching. And uh, yet we are going into an emergency landing situation currently. Uh, 
life is not good in the CRJ900 right now. Okay, the airport should be below us somewhere. Note self, I'll try the aircraft before I stream. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be fair, look, everyone just said, oh, yeah, it's all, it's, it's all working. Um, so I just I just took it as, yeah, look, we'll, we'll give it a fly. Oh my god, please don't be foggy down there. Come on. 5,000 feet now and I can't see shh. Okay, guys. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Not even banking that high. Oh. Holy cow. Just the one day it's going to be foggy. You said Bournemouth would be a good idea. What the f Am I getting thunder? This is like going to be nearly Mission Impossible here, guys. Yeah, I've really fucked this up, haven't I? Not on purpose, but, uh... Okay, Shoreham should just be directly down here. Ah, oh, man, this is so disorientating. I can't see... Sh For some reason it won't let me do shorts on the on the streams. But I'll try. Okay, Shoreham should be dead ahead now. Think rain. Okay, flap set to full. Tom Jet wants a three three. Come 
Anyone see the airport? Yeah, those shorts are a new thing. Goodwood traffic, Gulf Papatanga Delta Alpha, nine miles to the east of the zone. Uh, we'll be making overhead join, Gulf Delta Alpha. Yeah, they are going to have my license, aren't they? Okay, showroom is still down here. We'll do an overhead join in a jet. I don't need to go to the left yet. Should be here somewhere. We don't need much visibility, but I just need a little bit. This is the worst airport to pick. Down there somewhere. Is that it? That's it. Here we go, here's Shoreham. Even now I'm struggling to control it, I have to hold the joystick down. Shoreham traffic 77742 on emergency landing into runway 22. It's like ballooning in the air. It's really hard to control. There you go, I feel like a real emergency now. Whoa. Ah, oh, okay, they're bloody annoying. We're not going to die. Don't think. One thousand. Uh, guys, there's no control to the. Oh, okay, it's just giving me back control. Don't think. Don't think. Don't think. Okay, he's banking to the left. Where is this poxy airport? Oh, it's got no pappy lights.
Aircraft Croft White Tent. We'll circle around again. It just keeps banking to the left. Yeah, the weather's not particularly helpful. No, it can't turn it. I need a point of reference. Right, okay, straight out, straight back now from these things. It's okay, my reference now is that tower. For some reason it just keeps wanting to dip to the left as well. Goodwood Airport, stay away from Bournemouth, whatever you do. I thought it would be easier to see. Golf Delta Alpha final when we two four Goodwood. 
Can't get the nose down. Trust is one of like. Okay, this plane is not ready to fly on this. Not in a million years. I was actually coming in, but I couldn't keep the nose down. Uh, it's all fun and games. It was a hard one as well, being so foggy. I felt like at this point I was doing quite well. But it's very hard to get to keep the nose down. Like, it's just ballooning, look. Every time I let go a little bit. More whites. Not good. I actually thought I was going to get it down, but I couldn't find a reverse thrust. Again, there's that nose. Yeehaw. Yeah, that last bit was my fault. <laughs> okay, mate. No, so this is just one of my planes from X-Plane 11 that is uh, come across as beta. But, um... Yeah. Brutal. Just not good, is it? Other than that, I think it went really well. Don't know about you guys. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. We're gonna leave the, the the flight there. We got absolutely nowhere. Uh, <sighs> We'll bring this, we'll, we'll have a look at this again. So a lot of these planes are now coming across the beta and X-Plane 12. Um, we'll keep looking, we'll keep trying them, we'll keep updating them, and we'll see where we go. Uh, yeah, of course, that didn't quite go to plan. Um, it was quite funny, though. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, no, no i737. 
Um, so yeah, look, uh, I, I still enjoyed myself, enjoyed the company, of course. Uh, tomorrow night, we've got a Simply Connect bus company event tomorrow night. We're on Yorkshire 3, uh, so we will be driving some buses tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to leave it there for tonight. Hopefully you all had fun. And uh, if any of you find a CRJ in Bournemouth that is uh, crash-landed, uh, please let us know. We'll give a finder's fee for a return. But uh, yeah, that was pretty poor, wasn't it? Pretty, pretty poor. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, maybe we'll give this one a bit of a, a bit of a go. Uh, leave it out for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Uh, but thank you all uh, for watching, and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye for now.